A man from Pittsburgh could be the next person to walk on the moon. Warren Woody Hoberg is one of 18 astronauts who will train for NASA's Artemis moon landing program. And I got the chance to talk to him about the out of this world opportunity. I'm so excited to talk to you, astronaut Warren Hoberg, originally from Pittsburgh, nicknamed Woody, right? Yep. Nice to talk to you, Megan. Nice to talk to you. I read that you are a North Allegheny grad. Yep. North Allegheny. Uh, yep. We were very excited to see a Pittsburgher listed on the new Artemis team. What does it feel like to be a member of this new team? It's absolutely amazing and super exciting. It, uh, I remember in college wishing that I had been alive to participate in Apollo. And I never would have guessed that now here I am getting to participate in Artemis, which is going to be even better. So can you explain what the Artemis team is and what exactly it is that you guys will be doing? Yeah, so um, the Artemis mission is to go back to the moon, uh, this time to stay. We're going to land the first woman on the moon along with the next man since Apollo. It's been 50 years since we landed humans on the moon. Um, and as astronauts, um, we get to participate in a wide variety of um, hardware evaluations, procedure uh, development, getting ready to fly these missions. And then ultimately, um, at some point, they will select a, um, they'll make a flight assignment to actually assign folks to, um, to the missions and we'll go and fly the missions. Um, but I should be clear that there's just a huge team here at NASA Johnson Space Center and all around the country um, that is making these missions happen. So it's a, it's a big effort. It's hard to go to the moon. <laughs> well, and then even though you're on the team, you still have to duke it out to try to get one of the flight assignments that you like. <laughs> yeah, it's actually quite nice. These decisions are way above my pay grade. And so I get to just uh, keep my head down and do the work. Um, and look forward to, you know, getting to fly or watching one of my best friends fly. So it's all going to be great. What do you think um, is the most fascinating about space exploration? Why should people be interested in it? Well, I think one of the, it's 2020, it's been a rough year, but one of the special things about space is that it just feels so unifying. Um, everyone loves space and I mean, when I go outside and look up at the moon in the night sky, I just feel compelled by it and feel like it's a unifying common human experience to just want to reach out and touch that thing and go there. Very cool. Well, Woody, I hope that you, you make it. Pittsburgh born and raised and hopefully headed to the moon soon. We'll have to wait and see, but I appreciate you for taking the time to talk to me. Thanks, Megan. Go Steelers, go North Allegheny girls but volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> that they make perfect sense one right after the other <laughs> my brother is the uh the coach <laughs> nice all right well yes then go women's volleyball and na perfect well thank you so much and best of luck and we appreciate you making time for us tonight